Well, hello traders. Good evening. We are on the evening of 20th of Feb 2020 and it's 8.53 p.m. That's what my laptop gives me the time. I <coughs> purposely wanted to make this video because uh, the markets overall worldwide equity as an asset class had fallen, tumbled uh, significantly and uh, what should we uh, be prepared for as uh, we invest or trade in the market. So right in front of you I have the daily chart of benchmark nifty 50 and you can see the the momentum at which the markets have sold off over the last six seven days um, especially the way the market gap down today especially the way that after gapping down over 200 points there was no sign of any intraday respite it kept on selling towards the end of the close and at the close we have a 431 points cut on the benchmark and if I look at the last six days where we were close to 12,100, 150 we are now at 11,200 so over 900 points in six days now this is serious so I thought that I'll share my views so that it helps you to prepare yourself in the coming times. Let's talk about levels first. And before I talk about levels, I'll quickly take you to my uh, trading view chart, which I generally use to draw these channels in my weekly market views. And you would know from my last uh, market view that I was looking at that 11,600 700 zone this one which the market respected uh, end Jan and considering five six days of continuous fall considering we had a bounce back from yesterday's low I was hopeful that probably it will buy some time here but that's not the case what we saw is a merciless gap down and extreme follow through selling it means that the market is in no mood to respect valid supports. Yes, 11,600-700 was a valid support. There is no doubt about it. And yes, it's also true that the market is in no mood to respect these supports. And when market does that, it's trying to tell us something else. What it's trying to tell us is you should not be looking at me from this time frame. Means this correction is not a correction of this rise it's a much larger time frame so those who are practicing technical analysis or trading with charts my personal experience from the 2008-9 especially 2008 bear market is when you notice that the markets are not respecting levels that it ideally should have at least for some time it's doing something else the game is somewhere else in terms of time frame we have price and time right the charts is just 2d price and time so i'll always request you that when you find yourself in a situation like this either on the downside or on the upside increase your time frame go higher time frames now i've taken you to the monthly time frame and i'm going to hide this uh, Fibonacci retracement <coughs> for some time and would bring your notice to this rising channel. This is a beautiful channel which the Nifty is trading within since 2018. If I look at the width of the channel, I'm looking at around, if I take these points, around 11,800 and 10,300 so 700 and another 700 so around 1400 1500 points 
and this channel has held the prices extremely well now this channel is going to come under threat it held exceptionally well during this period which was 2018-19 again in 2019 august and now it's gonna come under threat for sure and if that happens significant downsides will open up in the tune of 1000 points to 1500 points so we are talking about levels close to 10k it's too far-fetched right now let's not make it a conclusion that we are expecting levels like that but it can generally when you get breakdown from channels it gives you a throwback and etc so these takes a lot of time if that happens we will be in a bear market for a significant amount of time a year or year and a half generally equity as an asset class goes through a cycle of around eight to ten years the last bear market was in 2008 it was ripe in 2018-19 so early phase of 20 we are facing a correction so it's healthy it's cyclical it's as per nature's law but you and me we invest and we trade and it's money involved and we love our money right so what are we going to prepare ourselves for so first if this plays out we are looking for a bear market for sure number one number two is markets move on emotions it's Psych nine o'clock all right thank you siri i'm sorry that was my laptop giving me an update on the time she does her work really well so psychology plays a very important role so emotions will drive the market especially in breakdowns that's why when it breaks down we see a bounce back now bringing that um a retracement so i drew a retracement of this channel and i find 10900 and 10600 this is my 78 and 76.4 of the retracement levels and i find some merit in 10800 because the highs of jan 2018 more or less confluences with a little above 10800 900 so 10,800, 900 plays a role, which is not too far, close to 300 points. And then the level of 10,400, 500. Now, technical analysts are very good to find these levels. And when they break, they will find out with a new level. That's what we all do. But the important thing is this. If 10,800, 900 comes, this channel will get breached. If the channel get breached, there's likely to be sub 11,000. There's likely to be some kind of an emotional exuberance on the negative side. There can be panic and that can lead to a sell off. That would be a good opportunity for value investors and it can lead to a bounce back. Bottom line, if 10,800, 900 comes and if you see a red candle down here, of course, everyone will be bearish. So will you, so will I be maybe, but if immediately if you see it bouncing back within the channel maybe the worst is over balatal gay means maybe we went through a small relatively smaller um, price sell-off if not if 10,800 does not hold then brace yourself for significant downsides you will have bounce backs before that and all the drama will happen we are all aware of it so look at the higher time frame i personally have been investing in uh, nifty bees in this fall i bought today morning i bought yesterday also and i will be doing it as the markets fall further if it does um, but i would request you to do your homework look at few sectors some strong stocks and you can buy them in your core portfolio even if the market drags throughout the year on the downside, this is your core portfolio. That's why my um, faith always lies on the index rather than the stock. So let's talk about few sectors. So down below, I have a proprietary relative strength calculation. And out of that, I found out that few sectors or few a list of stocks are likely to do better off. And I'm, I'm scanning them as per uh, the monthly time frame 
longer time frame so nifty quality do check a take a look at the stocks within nifty quality stands out well um, as per my analysis the uh, banking would do good especially the private banks maybe but uh, it will take some time especially icici bank um, as i scan through the rest of the sectors on the monthly time frame i will probably find another one which i was quite surprised to see and might do uh, well was the real estate okay so this is the yeah so this is the real estate so i have my inhibitions over here but i'll keep a look at it i'm not very sure but i'll definitely look at quality it is worth a watch for some time and you can look at pharmaceutical stocks few of them uh, but the rest are not that great okay so what's within the quality so i did look uh, take a look open the nifty quality 30 stocks and uh, few stocks looks good torrent pharma is one titan is the other one uh, which is showing relative strength tech mahindra is the other one tcs is the is the next one um, not bad sun pharma all right nmdc not worth mrf is an extreme expensive relatively high price stocks stay away from maruti and lupin and itc is highly underperforming infosys probably will stay range bound hindustan unilever should outperform uh, going forward um, havels is one stock you can look at it sub 600 levels looks interesting uh, keep an eye on these they can fall further i'm talking purely from your core portfolio point of view so even if you get 10 15 20 percent lower you should not be bothered you're investing in equity dv's lab uh, within the pharma dabur is the other one i'm looking at the nifty quality 30 castrol i personally don't like it uh, though it, it's showing some amount of strength bp sale is also looking good when i say looking good what i'm saying is it is showing a relative strength and finally asian pains they can be these stocks can outperform underperform etc but an important thing i want to show you here see we are going to enter march next monday the final month of a financial calendar and you will already would have noticed a lot of advertisements happening the mutual fund industry will push equity linked saving schemes your ELSS really hard because of the ATC one and a half lakhs uh, benefit tax benefit that you get now this graph shows us FY 15 16 17 18 19 the flow into ELSS funds have always been significantly higher the last quarter the blue bar significantly higher and it's going to be the case this month also what does this mean this means that your DIIs your mutual funds will be flushed with a um, lot of extra surplus capital they cannot sit on cash so they will buy and if they buy you can open up any fact sheet of an ELSS fund you'll find these quality names especially amongst nifty 50 your reliance will be there your icici bank your state bank and all these names will be there and they will allocate this extra surplus funds in these large cap stocks so those cowboys who's listening to my videos when i mean cowboy i don't uh, mean literally cowboy i mean that who would like to be a little bit little bit more bold and you want to buy a falling market like this please it's always the large caps look at the nifty quality 30 which i just just opened in front of you look at the nifty 50 stocks good names in fact the first 15 stocks the top 15 stocks make up close to 80 percent of the weightage even if you buy the basket of the 15 stocks trust me you will do good you need not time them you need not be specific about them you just buy the top 15 stocks of the nifty if nifty has to bounce back which it will eventually these 15 stocks have to perform it's a very simple formula all that you need is a little bit of guts no guts no glory no story 
so in 2008 2009 march those who got into stock market will have stories to tell us i don't know how far this is going to take us i will keep myself and others updated it can take us significantly below sub 10k maybe because if you have seen 2008 you know anything can happen but the reasons are little different the reasons over there were structural damage to the entire financial sector per se worldwide it was like a ripple effect over here we are not talking directly a uh, internal damage into the financial sector per se we're talking about an external element which will slow down things it's not a damage all right it's going to slow down things so i don't see significant downsides though i am worried because markets are not respecting the supports so i'm sorry i've taken a little more than 15 minutes to make this video i hope it makes some sense to you i request you to please feel free to share your thoughts feedbacks um and i'll try my best to keep you updated about the weekly market updates and any special stuff like this if that happens um i'll share my experience with every one of you thanks a lot for listening to me uh take care of your trades take care of your health this virus thing please be careful try not to travel keep your hands clean um if it's not necessary please don't go out in big groups in some events or parties it's a matter of time the summer is coming for india so we should be better off of because of the heat um please take care of yourself first and then your portfolio god bless take care thank you